Also new here at five safety concerns surrounding the city's pride celebrations after a violent night unfolded in Lakeview. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar live for us there. Charlie, this trouble started long after that pride parade ended. And Marie, in the days leading up to the Pride Parade, leaders here in Lakeview really were concerned about safety in the hours after the Pride Parade ended. Well, in those hours after the parade and early this morning, six people were sent to the hospital in two different incidents. Once the Pride Parade ended and the floats went away, the party continued for hours. Today, Lakeview residents woke up to bloodstained sidewalks. After the parade shuts down and the police presence kind of ends, things can get rowdy. Around 11.30 Sunday night, police say a 24-year-old woman pulled out a knife and stabbed three people after an argument at Belmont and Sheffield. One person was arrested. You know what? I'm doing it. I have to show the world something. Um, you will not assume my gender. You will not assume my gender. Ah! Yo, what's happening, guys? Dr. Beastie here, back with another video. And today it's Saturday, January the second. Very beautiful day. It's um quite cloudy. Hopefully that goes away in a little bit. But yeah, it's just a couple more days until the Fourth of July, which I'm really really looking forward to but yeah i'm back it's been a month i know like an actual month well then again i mean i'm a gaming channel i posted there until like two weeks ago and then on my second channel db studios i posted there until almost a month ago like close to a month ago so technically not exactly a month, but it has been a while, so sorry about that. The reason why is obviously because I didn't really know what to post during the first couple weeks, and then I did later on during the next couple weeks, but I decided I might as well keep the break going because honestly, it was actually going pretty well. I managed to graduate high school, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Goodbye, goodbye all the teachers at Ocean View. That happened, and then what else? I got a couple of scholarship awards, which that was thumbs up for uh, Texas. Oh yeah, we're, we're moving there pretty soon, by the way. Um, probably should have told you guys that yet, but whatever. Um, so that happened, and then I've also been hanging out with Sam, my good friend Sam, because we haven't really been hanging out much lately, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, the break was pretty nice. I want to go back on YouTube because, uh, yeah, I get impatient sometimes. I also got a haircut, as you could tell. It's, um, it's a little bit longer on the sides and the front. Well, I mean, the front's still, like, the same length, but, like, the sides are a little bit longer. The back is kind of like how it was last time. I really need to get my hair cut. It was getting out of control. What I was originally planning on doing was just keeping my hair long until, like, July or August. But, like I said, I'm impatient, so I couldn't I, I couldn't handle it. And this is what my hair looked like a couple weeks ago when I got it cut. Well, technically, a little longer than a couple weeks ago because I got it cut right before graduation. Like, right before graduation practice, right before graduation, right before all of that. And honestly, I'm glad that I got my hair cut then because it just made the whole graduation better. Like, my hair wasn't in the way or anything. I mean, then again, I mean, I just tuck my hair like this when I wear a hat. In fact, speaking about hats, I'm going to put one on right now. See, look at how much better this looks. It almost looks like how short my hair used to be like a year ago or... Yeah, a year ago. It's been a while, I know. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about, believe it or not, gay pride. No! 
and how I became pro LGBT in just a matter of months. I did a little bit last year, like as a joke, and I mean, I still do agree that Pride, the actual Pride Month is a little bit like out of control and kind of nonsense, but um, when it comes to just LGBT rights and all that, I've changed a, a, a little, a little bit, and honestly, I didn't really want to make this video, but at the same time, I kind of do because with all my political videos I've done in the past, they've been really controversial, I'm not doing that with this one. And all of them would be about, like, Trump or Biden or whatever, which I'm not saying hate that kind of stuff, like, hate talking about Trump and Biden and all that, but I gotta change, and YouTube, I mean, I've gotta abide by the rules. As a Josie Mike's employee, I have to abide by the rules. Ooh, that was actually a good, that was actually a good example. But yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna be talking about in today's video. I wrote down a list of everything I'm gonna be talking about, so... I'm gonna go get that, so I'll be right back, again. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is, uh, obviously, the introduction. The second thing is, why I haven't uploaded future changes to Dr. Beastie, which I've already done. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. God damn it, I almost messed up the video. I almost forgot about future changes to Dr. Beastie. Alright, so, what's gonna happen to this channel? Um, I've been thinking so extremely hard, and... I decided that since all of my previous incidences with YouTube are now gone forever, besides the warning, the, the community guideline strike warning on both this channel and surprisingly my second channel because I had to post some of my controversial videos that I have on here on there during the time that I wasn't able to upload on here. So since all that's gone pretty much besides the warnings, I'm just going to go back to reaction videos, except... They won't be super controversial, yet they won't be kid-friendly either. They won't be either of those. So I will be like in between with both of them. Kind of like, um, you know, like the, the commentary YouTubers like Poncho and uh, Tag Swag and Beastie and all of them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like my plan on this channel forever, hopefully. It just depends. The uploading schedule, it won't. Like, I won't really be uploading that much anymore. Maybe only, like, one time a week. Well, technically, for the next couple of videos, I'm going to be uploading them during the same week or next week since today's still Saturday. I'm going to be uploading both of those. So both both of them are going to be reaction videos. So both going to be uploaded during the same week. And then after that, I'll probably get back to you guys in a couple of weeks just so I could, like, plan out the videos that I could react to. I mean, most of them are just going to be, like, simple. Dr. Phil or, like, um, Darman. Because, I mean, it's been a while since I've watched Darman. Especially here on this channel for you guys. I mean, you guys are probably really missing Darman. And also, thank you guys so much for almost 150 subs. I almost have 150 subs. I think that had to do with my experimentation on all my videos. And that's also kind of why I'm sticking to reactions too. Because I've noticed that um, some of them, even though some of them don't really get a lot of views, others do. Like, for example, my, probably shouldn't be saying it, but my Columbine video. It has like almost 10,000 views. I don't know how. But, um, well, I mean, I know how, but I don't know why. I mean, why do people want to watch, like, three hours of Dylan and Eric just messing around? I don't understand. But anyways, um, so yeah, those are some of, the, like, the main changes that I'm going to be making to this channel in the near future. Also, you know, on the top, like, when you watch my videos, like, on the iMac or something, how I show my links to like Instagram and DeviantArt. Well, I'm getting rid of them because number one, I changed my Instagram to private. Again, I kind of had no choice. And then number two, I mean, what's the real point? Obviously, I'm still going to be on social media all the time, but I'm not going to be on it as much as I used to. Like literally on Instagram, I'm only going to, I'm probably only going to be posting like nature pictures because that's what I'm like really good at. But if you go to my Truth Social, that's where all the fun is. So definitely go and check it out. You have to obviously download the app. And I mean, I don't know if it's like this anymore. But for me, I had to wait like literally almost an entire month just to get in. Because so many people are trying to get in. And Donald Trump, well, maybe not himself, but like his 
the guys that work for him, I mean, they have to approve. They have to look at each account and approve it. And that takes a long time. I mean, they're on it, like, all the time. That's why I don't think Trump is, because there's, like, how could he, like, how could he manage all that? I, I don't know. But, yeah, um, those are the future changes to my channel. Yes, I know. I know. Applaud. Applaud. Okay, wow, that was really stupid. Um, alright, uh, so the third thing I'm gonna be talking about is, uh, oh god. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Coming out. Alright, well, don't wanna be a, don't wanna be a cringy clickbait YouTuber and all, but I'm coming out as, a uh, gay. No, I'm just kidding. I, I would never do that. In all seriousness, I don't know. Just because I've never had a partner in my life, I could be straight, I could be gay, I could be whatever. But the only way to find that out is if I get a partner and, you know, do stuff with the partner. Like, not actually, like, having you know what, but, like, going on dates and talking and, um, I don't know, movie nights, stuff like that. So, I don't know. I mean... I don't think I'm necessarily straight, or at least I don't think so. Like, I've, I've known this for a while. I just didn't want to tell you guys because uh, it's kind of stupid to tell your fans on social media. So that's why I'm not going to be making this too long or anything. But yeah, I don't think I'm necessarily straight. I mean, I could. I could survive being straight, but I don't think I necessarily am. But honestly, no one really is. Well, except maybe for very few people. And that's why I also think as long as you try a relationship with the opposite sex partner, I do believe that it's okay if you, like, experiment with, like, everyone and everything. Whatever you identify as or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't care. But, um, I mean, that's why I kind of agree with that. I mean, obviously you should start out, like, just traditionally with, with an opposite sex partner, maybe a couple, see how that goes. If it's not going well for you or your partner or whatever, I mean, either you guys should probably talk it out or that doesn't mean that you guys are, you know, like attracted to each other or even to those opposite sexes. But yeah, um, I don't know. And the only way I could ever find out is obviously finding a partner and going out with them and doing all kinds of stuff with them you guys probably don't know this but i do i do kind of like fashion not like stupid fashion like 2021 2022 fashion because honestly some of that's really stupid and outrageous but uh, yeah i'm into fashion i don't like dresses on girls i think it's stupid i don't think i'm that masculine i mean obviously just look at me i'm not i'm not like one of those guys trying to be super buff or anything i think that's also kind of stupid too unless you work out the natural way then that's that's fine, because a lot of those bodybuilders, I mean, obviously, you know, they do steroids, and the stupid vacuum is so loud. I've tried on my mom's clothes before, when I was younger, obviously, and, I mean, even though the heels and all, like, they're just really, I don't, I don't know why girls would wear heels. It's just really uncomfortable. The shorts and all aren't too bad. Oh, my God, that God damn vacuum. I've also tried some of my mom's makeup before, like, not necessarily, like, in public or anything, but just, like, at home, like, when no one's watching or anything, and, um, honestly, besides the, because, yes, for Halloween, I sharpied my nails black. It's definitely a lot harder than you would imagine. Even, like, putting on freaking lipstick, even that's hard to put on, but yeah, um, I mean, personally for me, as long as you don't, like, do it all the time, then I, I think it's fine. Like, I think, I, I know this sounds crazy, but that should kind of be a norm. This is why I really hate when people value traditional values, traditional social values, more than the welfare of normal citizens. I think it's kind of stupid. But then again, everyone has the right to opinionize whatever so yeah now since i finished talking about that i'm gonna be explaining what i think about the lgbt community and why i became pro lgbt now you guys probably don't really know this but back in the day well not too long ago just like a couple years ago 
I used to be pretty anti-LGBT. Like, for the, the coming out part, like, I used to, I truly used to believe that LGBT people should just come out, like, they should just never come out. They should only come out secretly to themselves, which is actually really self-harming. Like, it, it actually is. Yeah, that, and then I also used to believe that they shouldn't, like, I don't know, wear all these weird clothes in public, which, I mean, I still, I still agree with that aspect. But, like, when it comes to weird, like, that's... Like, that's what kind of changed. Like, I used to think, let's say, for example, wearing, like, pants, like, just, just like, a few inches higher up and, like, a, a show, like, a few inches higher up or whatever was weird and you shouldn't wear that in public. Yeah, I, I, I take that back. That's actually kind of getting rid of freedom of speech. I mean, like, just by doing that, it's almost like you're getting rid of freedom of speech. Now, if you're, if you're gonna go out in public wearing a full-on dress and, that's a di I mean, you do have that right, but it, I mean, you're gonna weirden out like lots of people and people are gonna say stuff to you and some of that stuff might be quite harmful. So, I mean, you just, you really gotta think about like what you're gonna wear in public just because of that whole reaction, especially in big cities. Um, also same with like coming out too. I mean, by all means, this is America for God freaking sake. But um, you just got to be careful and like, especially who you tell and all that. I know some people like the Christian fundamentalists, when they, when they hear, let's say for example, when they hear the word gay, they like, honestly, they kind of freak out. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be aware of who you're surrounding yourself with and like your family and all that. And that's also why, like, I don't think it's pretty cool that like all these little kids now are saying, Mom! Danny, I'm gay, I'm lesbian, blah, blah, blah. No, that, that's actually, little kids don't even have that experience yet. I mean, maybe when they're like teenagers, yeah, like as, as long as they got that experience. But like, if you're a little kid and you don't have any experience with that whatsoever, there's honestly no point in like coming out. Oh my God, guys, this is indoctrination. Oh my God, we gotta ban this right now. Oh! Oh my god, I'm so scared. You're just gonna like embarrass yourself. Your parents are gonna like probably start freaking out like they should. They should know what's going on. Like what are you watching? Where are you hearing all this information from? All that. I've also heard other people's points of views or seen other people's points of views from like real life or in movies or whatever. So I, I, I kind of understand it. I mean, I have family who are LGBT. I have a friend, his sister, she's, I guess she's lesbian. And that's honestly like, just from that, I mean, you remember I made the apology video. That's when I realized, oh crap, some of the stuff I'm saying and posting, especially like on the internet is kind of, it's kind of messed up, even if it's a joke. Well, then again, I mean, I still, I still do agree that Pride Month is pretty stupid, but just Pride in general, I mean, you should be able to celebrate whatever you want all year long as not as long as you're not making like a huge scene like what some of these crazy people in these pride month parades are doing especially like towards little kids i know family members who are lgbt i, I know people who are lgbt i know all that so i i understand and that's also kind of like where you need like at least some empathy, even if you're like, I don't know, a Christian fundamentalist who believes that homosexuality is a sin, you gotta show at least some empathy. I mean, you can't just be all about it. Now this brings me on to the next question. What do I think of the LGBT community? Now, like I said, it's a little bit out of control now. I mean, like all these pride protesters, you know, showing off their bodies to like little kids. I mean, that's pretty disturbing. But in the past, I mean, it was a really, it, it was actually a serious thing. I mean, people getting beat, beaten up because they're gay and lesbian. I mean, it's it's crazy. And just imagine the transgenders back then. Oh God, I don't even, I don't even want to imagine. But at least for bisexual people, they have that chance to camouflage. Like just imagine being able to camouflage into a straight person during that time. That would have been crazy. Back in the day, the movement, it, it was a real thing. And if I was alive back then, I would probably be one of the only people who would support it or at least like agree with like some of the, well, not all, but some of the stuff that they're doing. Cause most people back then, they, they didn't, they didn't agree with that stuff. I mean, now most people do, which is good, 
but like back in back in that day like very few people were for um same sex marriage same sex relationship just being like gay and lesbian in general like very few people were for that um, but now it's it's a little bit different almost everyone is at least in some way but yeah back then it was a really it, it was really bad i mean cops were like walking down the street not only beating up african americans but also beating up gay people and that's when i mean obviously stonewall started and then it turned into this anti-aids movement where all these lgbt people started getting diagnosed with aids back in the 80s and 90s and after that i think it just turned into i mean i don't know 100 percent. like i don't really know much about it but i think after the whole aids movement that's when it turned into like the whole supreme court same-sex marriage thing being legal legalizing it and thankfully um the supreme court saw you know all these like protesters like protesting for same-sex marriage and then they uh they approved it and now in every state you go to you cannot try to make it illegal for lgbt people to marry each other because it's against the law according to the supreme court like the supreme court ruled it and it's now against the law to not allow certain people to marry each other and now there's no real point in these people even protesting about all this stuff because all this stuff already happened and have been approved by the president and the government and the supreme court so i mean they don't really have a real reason to be protesting about all all this stuff even with the the whole florida thing it, it, it's just it's really dumb it's just really dumb now if you were just having like i don't know let's say for example like a normal pride parade in a small community or whatever that's uh, that that's good that that's actually that's actually real good because you're doing something that you're passionate about you're doing something well not for a cause but just just to like spread awareness and to have fun because that's all that matters spreading awareness and having fun kind of like with the whole autism awareness thing that never got super popular now if it was in europe i i would i would agree that what they're doing is good because there are lots of people that live out in europe that are still like super anti-lgbt especially in like god forbid russia oh my god just i i'm not even gonna tell you guys what happens to those protesters there it is really bad i mean if everyone suffers then they definitely suffer the most like the most most and even for the stuff that they're protesting about nowadays it's all just like i said it's all really dumb there's no real point in even doing it unless they're like protesting about like the stuff that's happening in europe or in asia or like i think even in south america i mean i don't really I don't really know too much about what's going on in South America, but especially like in Europe and Asia, I'm fine with them protesting about that. It's just they can't really do anything about it. Like they think they can, but they they can't. It's almost like, um, I don't know. It's almost like they're giving themselves like some hope, even though there's not really any hope for it. Which I mean, I mean, that that's, that's still good. I mean, there's still like, trying to believe in something but i mean you got to be realistic in that thing that you're trying to believe the same goes with um being religious i mean i personally don't think that you should i mean unless you really want to spend all your time praying and worshiping your god i mean you gotta do you gotta do something else in your life i mean it's good that you believe believing is a strong asset in our lives but you can't spend all that time believing. You gotta at least spend some of that time doing, not believing. And that is why I'm now pro-LGBT because I see some of those people, they're just faking it, and then I see others and they're truly suffering. And I truly believe that everyone in this country and across the world should have all the same freedoms and be able to succeed the same way that everyone else is. Even though that's already kind of happening in America right now. I mean, I mean, we could all agree with that. And now finally, what are some ways that the LGBT community could be better? Well, I don't really have any on the top of my head other than the fact that um, they're really disorganized. Like, um, for example, they say they're going to do one thing. 
but then they do the complete other. So, I mean, I guess it's also like kind of like line too. It's disorganized and yeah, they're, they're not very honest. So that's obviously one thing that they could change of. Another thing is, um, I, I know this sounds kind of like, I know it sounds kind of cringy for all you guys that are like actually part of the movement, but it needs to be more inclusive. I think if, I, I, I know it sounds stupid, but I think if like, I don't know, straight people want to like be a part of the movement, they should because that's what movements are for. They're bringing everyone together as a whole. Believe it or not, that sounds like communism, socialism, and collectivism all combined. So I'm really sorry about that. But when you come to think about it, they're not really doing that. In fact, they're actually profiting on only LGBT people being a part of the movements or the even the organizations. Even though they may all be nonprofit, I mean they they get their money somewhere. You gotta come to think about that. They get their money somewhere. As a person who believes in capitalism, almost everything, unfortunately, has to profit, which I think that is kind of stupid. I mean, not everything has to profit, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's also another problem too, is the fact that they're not inclusive enough and they're just profiting on LGBT people being a part of the movement that should be actually helping them. Another thing, I mean, most of the people that are a part of the LGBT movement are always young. They're like young people. Oh, okay, so that kind of brings me to the inclusive part. But, like, almost everyone that's a part of the movement are young. They're young, confused children. Like, why are old people a part of it? Because it's too chaotic. That's why they need to, like, tone it down a little and not make it so crazy. Make it, like, make it seem realistic. I mean, some of the stuff they're doing is not very realistic in the real wide world. So, if they do that then old, older people could start to join the movement and then it will grow as a whole. Just some advice from Caden, Caden the Libertarian. Their movement is too political, way too political to be exact. I mean, sure, when they started in Stonewall, I mean, that was kind of their main goal was to just make homosexuality normal, which I mean, everyone should, should agree with that, or at least almost everyone. But the problem is, is that since all these young people are part of the movement and the protests and all that, they're really left-leaning. Like, really, really left-leaning. There's no conservatives. Like, where where are the, the right-wing conservatives at in the movement? It's, it's always only left-leaning people. So, I think if they stop politicizing it, like, way too much, then that could also help out too a little. And then finally, they should fight real causes like how they used to in the past. In the past, they, they actually fought for real causes. They fought against police brutality. They fought against the, the government, not really giving a damn about AIDS, even though I could kind of understand why, because we are in a cold war for God's sake. And then legalizing same-sex marriage. But now, the only somewhat good of a protest they've done was the don't say gay for the whole Florida thing with Ron DeSantis. But what he did, actually wasn't that bad. Now, I'm not gonna be explaining to you guys what he's done because it's gonna get way too controversial, but it, what he did wasn't that bad, in fact. He actually, in, in some ways, he actually helped the LGBT community, so I don't really know why they're kind of freaking out over that. And then, really, like, they're also a part of the whole Roe versus Wade thing. But yeah, that's what I mean, like, if they're gonna keep doing the things they're doing, they need to at least fight for real causes. Like, everything that's going on in Europe, that's horrible. Everything that's going on in Asia, all that. But anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. The main point that I'm trying to say is that whether you're for something or against something, at the end of the day, we're all humans. We all originally started off as chimpanzees in Africa. So we should just be inclusive. Just be inclusive to each other. It makes the world a better place if we could hear out what someone else has to say and we try to like come up with a compromise or something. I don't know. Just watch Jubilee for God's sake. I mean, you'll, you'll learn all that stuff there. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to necessarily make this video, but when I come to think about it, I'm kind of glad that I did. It's almost like I'm fighting for a real cause. You know what I mean? Like you feel that, but at the end of the day, you're, 
not really, I mean, it's just a YouTube video out of the millions and billions of other YouTube videos. From a both side perspective, I mean, it's all quite dumb. It's like conservatives want to keep that family value tradition, straight couple, man and wife, they get married, they have kids, while liberals just want to, you know, abolish that, get rid of that, and just gay people everywhere, lesbians, you name it. Oh boy, it's getting really dark, it's getting really dark. If we could just all come to the middle or, or something like that, that will really help out with this big problem in our country right now. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on notifications. Have an awesome day, everyone. And oh boy, this totally reminds me of back in the day when I used to not have a camera stand and just place my phone down somewhere in the middle of the backyard or whatever and just start making a dumb video.